Hi guys! Today I want to talk to you about uh, two circuits. The first is uh, a delay circuit and the second is a timer circuit. The delay circuit uh, is basically composed with uh, a battery and a switch. Then you have uh, a capacitor and two resistors, like this. The delay circuit uh, is, is useful when, for instance, you press the switch for one millisecond, but you want the you want the light to turn off after ten seconds. The first circuit is basically made with R two C R one, which is the base resistor of this MPN, and your diode, sorry, your LED, connected with your battery. It is very simple to understand how it does work. Basically, this is the voltage VB of the base. When the, the capacitor, when the, the switch, let's call it S1, is closed, the capacitor will be charged and the VB will reach a, drop, a voltage of 0 0.7. After, the, after the, the switch is on, the, the voltage of the capacitor will, distar will discharge through the RC. And so you expect uh, to have something like this. And this is the first circuit that we'll, we, we will see. Then the second circuit is a timer. We don't want to use the five, you don't want to use the 55555 timer because it is uh, an integrated circuit, but we want to design with uh, uh, NPN and PMP circuit. Uh, a timer. So, for instance, uh, after after uh, I don't know after ten mi ten minutes, uh, you want uh, a, an, um, a pin enable to go down after ten minutes. So, a circuit which works like that. To do this, uh, we again employ an RC circuit. So, first here we will have a current sink. So, probably I will go for a PMP current source which uh, which uh, is commanded by an RC. RC. Probably, a PM, uh, probably this will be a PMP mirror current. And then, so we will, we will need a voltage, 10 volt for instance. Then we will use a comparator. In the plus threshold we will put the C, and the negative threshold we will put uh, basically the maximum that we can achieve. In this way, we say when this capacitor here, when the voltage of the capacitor reaches a certain amount of voltage, which is decided that, which is decided by this node here. So let me. Okay, uh, we will trigger a MOSFET which will turn down the pin, the enable pin, with a comparator. So this will, will drive a MOSFET, basically, which will turn down a pin, an enable pin. These two circuits are very useful, especially the seconds, if you want your circuit to run for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and then to shut down. Something like that. So let's open the Spice, and let's see how we can create the first circuit that we call a delay circuit. As I said in the theory, the delay circuit is basically made with an RC. So let's use uh, the MOSFET, which we lacked as a switch. And as you know, the MOSFET is, uh, in this case, an high side. So we will need a gain, which will clamp the voltage, the gate source voltage between the gate and its source. Then we, need, uh, we will need a pulse, of course. And a cell, which will be our battery. The aim of this circuit is to delay the turn-off period, is to delay, basically, the um, turn-off period of your, of, of your LED. So you want that uh, the LED turns off after 10 seconds. Something like that.
let's put 10 volts and let's use uh, the capacitor C which if you want in the order of 10 seconds it has to be big so a combination like this can be a good start and an NPN this is the easiest way to drive a uh, LED by the way let's put the diode let's put the first LED of the list and let's use also a resistor of 300 ohms so that we can have more or less 20 30 milliamps now we have to decide the pulse this is a imagine that this is a button so 0 1 1 nano 1 nano t on even 10 millisecond i don't care period can be what you want it is just uh, t on even 1 milli and the period even 10 milli i don't care honestly and uh, now let's run the simulation for 10 uh, 20 seconds and let's see what happens uh we need the ground here okay so i'm giving i'm giving just one pulse okay and um this is the the current which is flowing into the into the led so here the led is on and in correspondence and in correspondence of this you will see that the base of the transistor is actually at 0 0.7 yes something uh, a little bit uh, a little bit higher but i don't care we can play with this rc to have uh, more time so let's uh, lower this resistor it has not changed much because mainly the the rc is given by r2 and c1 as as explained in the, in the theory the capacitor will discharge mainly in this path here mainly because the impedance is lower so let's lower this resistor and uh, the timing will lower again let's increase the resistor to 20k it has been uh, let me pick the the first transistor of the list because okay let me increase the capacitor to one millifarad and you will see that uh, ah sorry uh, a very important uh, a very important uh, detail this node c has to be put to zero so dot ec voc v of voc equal to zero this is very important okay because we want to to charge this node and then to to discharge properly so let's lower a bit 500 micro and you and you and you see that it stays on for at least 10 seconds then it has a very very soft transition in the turn off so let's put 50 seconds of simulation and you see that it goes off after 20 seconds more or less so you can play with these two value and you can have your delay circuit even even uh, a small even even a small pulse of one millisecond will delay basically your turn off of 10 seconds so your your led will stay on for 10 seconds let's use a delay for instance of uh, five seconds five seconds and you will see that uh, there is a delay of, of five seconds and then at 50 seconds uh, the led will start to turn on so because the capacitor starts starts to discharge and once the node reaches uh, is is below 0 0.7 then the the transistor starts to turn off you can see that uh, you can see also this in the current when the current uh, approaches zero when the base current approaches zero it means that the collector current is also zero and so in fact you don't have any collector current to, to, to turn on your led so, this circuit is well done.
let's uh, let's go to the second circuit in the in the same file yes why not the second circuit is the timer so we want that after 10 nanoseconds we want uh, uh, an enable pin to turn to turn down okay first we have to to design the model for the enable pin because uh, uh, don't take this model for granted because you can think to you can think to uh, to put just a voltage and uh, and say this is the enable pin which i want to to turn down but if you do this and imagine to put a mosfet here which 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 is exactly what we want to do so something that uh, here after uh, after 10 seconds after 10 seconds this goes here and and, turn, and turns on the MOSFET um, this uh, won't work as you imagine because uh, the voltage source in this spice uh, is constant whatever you put in parallel so you you have to use instead you have to use instead the Norton model which is done with a current it's a logic gate so let's use 3.3 .3 milliamps for instance and 1 ohm Sorry, and one and one kilo, ohm, which which can be more or less the impedance, the input impedance uh, of a pin. Uh, it is even higher, okay? It is uh, even higher. But uh, for now, this model can work. And uh, now, if you if you give uh, if you give a, a pulse here, which which is what we want to do. So if you give a pulse, uh, which uh, activate this MOSFET here with a delay of uh, 10 seconds zero five one nano one nano t on one period uh, 100 i don't care and i run the simulation so this is the the the, the pulse you see that the pin is going down In this period here is going down it is working so you want a circuit which does exactly like this but if you accidentally put the voltage to 3.3 volts then even if you activated the mosfet the enable pin won't go won't go down because the voltage source in lt spice keeps constant everything that you put in parallel to it you just have a hyper spike of current and that's it because for him you're you're just putting a resistor of basically one milliohm in parallel but but that's it you don't have any changes in the voltage so that's an important detail so let's go back to the let's go back to the to the norton model and now what we want to do is to put is to put um a current source because we need to use a comparator so the universal open shoe is the answer 10 volts and an rc again the same now the the easiest solution which uh, comes in, which uh, come across in my mind is to use a pmp current pmp mirror current yes i know that the pmp works uh, doesn't work very well in real life because there are they, they have temperature problems uh, difference also in size difference in the bm difference in everything so they can be quite problematic actually but uh, uh, for very low currents uh, you shouldn't have so much problems correct me if uh, i'm wrong now the pmp to the right uh, it is the one which we will design the current so it is this let's use a very low current because we want let's use a very high resistor like one mega ohm and a capacitor of one micro let's use the first of uh, the both uh, first of the list and micro and then uh, the output of this comparator Ah, we will compare it, of course, uh, with uh, um, 
We will, we will compare it with uh, a very high voltage. 100 kilo ohm and the kilo ohm. So basically we we want to have all the all the, basically all, all, all the voltage here. And if we run the simulation Sorry again that's the same mistake. Uh, let's let's call this node D voltage and let's say that IC of VD is equal to zero. So the current here is uh, it's not zero. It's zero dot four uh, microamps. Okay, it's not zero. So the the capacitor is charging with uh, ten microamps, basically, which is decided by this current mirror here. And when it reaches this voltage here, which is very, uh, again, uh, far, so let's lower a bit. Okay, when it, at, after 10 seconds, it reaches uh, the point. You can use F4 to indicate exactly where it reaches. And it is a an, an 9.3 seconds. Then we can add a plot pane and uh, see that uh, the signal of the MOSFET goes up and the enable pin goes down. That's, the, that's exactly it. We wanted to a circuit that after a programmed time, it goes down. So now imagine that you have an enable pin or in, uh, inside a, a logic or something and this goes down. Another improvement which can be done is to um, to cut this short between the base and uh, the collector of the PMP and to add another PMP which is called the beta helper. This will uh, improve the performance of the the performances of the of the current mirror and uh, we can do that by putting uh, the collector to ground, the gate here, and this guy here. The circuit, the circuit will work uh, in the same way as before, but uh, you now have a more precise current. That's it. There are many, many circuits for PMP current sources, which uh, I, I also talked about. You can find every way that you want to charge this capacitor here and then uh, to turn down the in every way that you prefer the enable pin. Naturally, if you increase this resistor to 10 mega, the current will uh, decrease. Here you have uh, almost one micro and here you have uh, exactly one micro at least for the first periods of charging so you can uh, basically also made a circuit uh, that turns off uh, after 10 minutes which is a, a large period of time just put this guy to 100 Increase the capacitor. Run again a simulation. Divide the time with 60. And now you have the minutes. This circuit will turn off after... Uh, this circuit will turn off after uh, basically 60 minutes. So, something which can be useful. Naturally, you can use the 555 timer, which uh, there isn't in the spice, but I don't care. Thank you guys for following me until this time. And uh, let's see you in the next video. 
バイバイ。